I just want to say hi to YouTube. Hi, YouTube. How you doing? I hope you're doing well. Hey, in case this is so closer to July and you see a bunch of the anime maybe start falling in, maybe doing two or three different like episodes dropping in all at once, just know that it's because come July, uh, July 2nd, uh, we are literally shifting into a five anime rotation. So the first week of July, you should probably still be seeing some of these episodes. Uh, but then after that, it will be literally the five anime that we pick. Uh, that Discord and Twitch is picking, letting out on advance. Guys, I'm so excited about this. Today, we're going to go and go and come on in here, analyze it, talk about it, go in deep, because music is very transformative. Music is very powerful. And overall, it sinks through the power of music that sometimes we get to go ahead and introspect and grow as individuals. Are you sick? Grab your snacks, grab yourself some takis, grab yourself some Doritos, and get ready. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Oh, wait. Yeah, it's 22. No, 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 no. No, no. Where? I swear. The chanclas giveth and the chanclas taketh away. But in this situation... For me, my anxiety is rising. It's rising every single time we watch this show, right? Because it's just alluding towards more and more pain. Yeah, I'll give you guys a full breakdown in a second here. No, my heart. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> my my corazón, mi pobre corazón. Lo estás pegando duro, dímelo. Fuck, dude. Okay. Um, how far? Hablas español, sí. Uh, bueno, I was gonna say soy mexicano, pero soy mixto, no. Uh. <laughs> so, si ustedes se sienten cómodos o más hablan en español, no hay problema, los voy a entender. Sin problemas, eh. Uh, but no, my, my number one thing was like, when it comes to something like this, something that blows my mind is, or, or a concept that I'll, I'll ask you guys is, how far are you willing to go for your hobby or for something that you're passionate about? Are you willing to give your life for it? Perfect description for your, your, your language knowledge. No, oh, because like, no, no quiero ser tampoco, like, guacho, you know, como, ah, saludos desde Colombia, pues bienvenidos, bienvenidos al canal, como están, how are you guys doing, but no, like, and that's my, that's my big thing, I don't know far about my life, but I would go pretty far, I mean, I almost did, Chile, oh shit, I'll be honest, there's been times where, even for this, for streaming and stuff, like, and, and this is why I've opened up about me being sick and whatnot, me being on meds, uh, till, like for the next foreseeable future right um this is my passion this is something i'm passionate about this is something i genuinely care about i didn't just jump on it because of a fad because uh you know trying to ride the bullet train towards whatever this is something that i genuinely love and i care about and i finished doing homework and i'm instantly like gotta stream i do it because for me this is something that i love and am i willing to die for it yeah i'm willing to die for mental health purposes for talking about shows that I like for talking about shows that you guys recommend and talk about the concepts and everything same thing I did with martial arts which is I love martial arts and I'm willing to get hurt I'm willing to learn I'm willing to improve on the stuff that makes us happy on the stuff that gives us meaning you know just lurk blade dragon just lurk but my my, my big question out of all of this is if something were to were to come through for yourself right like let's say that that nothing changed your work styles your work routines whatnot are you living a fulfilled life your passion you can really exactly the hue though like everything's combined 
you know everything combines with one another pretty easily and that's a big portion as to why why i'm touching on this is for you guys in general if all you did was work or study and go home nothing in between nothing to feel passionate about and if that's what you do how do you feel i would assume that you guys would feel pretty depressed i would assume that you guys feel like it's just a routine and maybe you're dozing off and disassociating i would have i would assume and you guys can make me like dude you're making too many assumptions it's true because like when i was in college i used to do that for a bit work school come home work school come home you know and i, I would follow this cycle and it ended up being very toxic it ended up hurting me it ended up not being um the greatest of tools to use to find passion to find something to talk about and find ways to explore and grow and all of these things anyway Oh, hell yo. Now you're overwhelmed? We'll talk about that in a second, you know. Touch me. <laughs> My, I, I guess something I want to touch on is because the, the intro is sort of hitting on this, and I don't want to go through and do a full on opening analysis <laughs> and spend like five hours on this again. But what, one big aspect that I'm going to go ahead and, 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 and mention is number one, if you do have a lot of hobbies, take into consideration moderation. I have, to, I have issues with this, right? I'm a psychologist and I struggle with moderating things at times. I take on too much and then I get what I can done, but it, it can be overwhelming. Um, people don't know this, right? A lot of people don't, but on Fridays, for example, if you guys, if you guys were to join the stream on Fridays, usually Fridays before stream, I get out of work around 4 or 5 p.m. some days, right? And I have like an hour uh, to get home. And if I'm not in a big rush, what I'll do is I'll grab a box of pizza. I'll go out to the... This is some, sort of a passion thing that I do. An empathy empathy stream. Uh, and not emp empathy stream, but something empathetic that I do to, to help out others, which is... I buy some pizzas. I go out to the park where a lot of the homeless individuals are. And we just chat. We just eat and chat. And for me, this is a way to ground myself and, you know, hear their stories and laugh and be reminded that, like, hey, all it takes is one bad day. All it takes is one bad day, uh, you know, for an individual to end up uh, homeless. And yet hearing their stories and hearing about how sometimes people go around and it's like time has stopped. Like time is clicking for everybody else, but time has stopped for them. And sometimes people won't even look at them in the eyes. And all of these things and hearing their stories about how they wished they knew more about like consolidating their time and being able to go ahead and like live for something that they're passionate about or, you know, like not take on too much and forget about family or forget about their relationships and all of these stories that they, that they tell. It's it's very eye opening. It's very eye opening about the importance of like you managing yourself, right? You being open to number one, seeing other people as people and seeing them as being empathetic with them. And then number two, which was a big one, is also you should always put your gas mask on, your gas mask, your, you know, oxygen mask first. It's like if you're on an airplane, that's exactly what they'll instruct you, right? Put on your oxygen mask first before you help out others. Make sure you do that. Make sure you put on your oxygen mask. If you're feeling like you're being burnt out, question yourself, why am I feeling burnt out? If you're feeling like something is not going right ask yourself why 
and, and this is a lot of things. I know it's a lot of questions that I'm asking. It's a lot of stuff that I'm throwing out there. But when it comes to this show in particular, this is something that's uh, coming back up, which is if time is slowly ticking by, who's not to say that the watch is about to be broken or someone's watch is like the battery is slowly dying down? Because the reference that the imp opening gives is time is slowly starting to click from someone that started. But who's not to say that time for somebody else, the battery is already almost dead. That's a big aspect that I'm going to get into at a later point, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, with that being said, let's go ahead and continue. <laughs> you ケンピアノ。ピアニッシモははっきりさてて、休符もしっかり数えて、眉間に縛が寄ってる姿勢が悪い苦々しく歯を食いしばらない。左手のリズムの流れが遅れてる。手が小さくてすぐに指が届きません
カヌレを心の準備もしていないいつも君は不意に現れるワタリくんは私は天使のように優しい。白山の,の君に、食材のチャンスを与えよう。君は大学に任命します。<laughs> It was very ahead of its time. Why is your color like that? Hmm. A, a big thing that, that, that I question out of this is. I hate to ask it, boys. I hate to ask it, boys and girls. But how many, how many of you guys have had a, a genuine friend? How many of you guys have had, like, a friend that you, you genuinely. Like, it's not an acquaintance, not someone that. That was like, oh, just because of school we met and that, like, we only stayed friends because of school or whatever. But how many of you guys have had a genuine friend or, or a genuine relationship? One that was not forced on because of school? Ride or dies. Ride or dies, Earthly. But, what, like, if you have had some genuine friendships, if you've had, had, if you have had some, some genuine friendships, what are the emotional. Weights that you put on them compared to others. What did that person mean to you? How far would you go for that person and how far would they go for you? Do you know the difference between friendships and colleagues or friendships and people and acquaintances? Anyway, anyway. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. My man is me at any anime convention. My man, like, if you guys were like, Ed, why don't you come to this anime convention, right? Or whatnot, and I would go there. I love y'all, right? Because I've been invited to a couple conventions to speak or talk about in my local area. And I'm like, okay, cool. But I always end up with, like, random little things and like posters and stickers and you know <laughs> figurines and <laughs> oh for then i would cross several lines oh oh sales are hyped or oh yeah they're always worth getting hyped i, I love going going and buying stuff that's why i'm like mm. <laughs> Sounds good, touch me, appreciate it. あの子ね。手を繋いだらぎゅーって握ってくるな。超可愛い。絶対話さないでって感じ。きっと話したら一人取り残されそうで怖かったんだね。おお。あ、これ君のジュース。あ、もたせっぱなしだった。おお。My heart fucking breaks.
I don't think I, I think the reason why she waited for him now is because she can't she can't carry this I think she might actually be a thousand times weaker than what she's showing right now this is a mask and this is a like with some of the teenagers I know I've talked about end of life therapy and I usually reference like older adults and stuff but with some teenagers, they just want a couple last good days with friends. Or they don't see them as a disease, as like, you know, so on and so forth, as whatever may be happening as in their life, but as the person that they once knew. And a couple key things right there is loss of strength, loss of arms, loss of everything. And considering her health problems and everything that's been kind of foreshadowed, my, yeah, my, my, mm, mm. The fact that she's not carrying any bags, he's carrying all the bags, and oh. mm. Oh. Mm, my heart break, man. Seifuku,今日投稿したんだな。僕の心配は気流に終わったんだ。あら、君カバンは？ああ、取りに行こう。遅い。ピアノ叩かない。後生は来ないよ。さっきメール来た。言ってくださいよ。いいんですか、瀬戸先生。この浜島の態度。あんたさ、やけに後生に突っかかるけど、なんで？あ、いやだ。瀬戸先生を取られたくなくて私つい。何
draw it however you want. Is there a tree? Are there plants? Is it nighttime? Is it daytime? Uh, how big? How small is it? Go wild with it. But I literally just want you guys to draw me your house. And I know this might seem weird, especially for those of you on YouTube. But hey, I'll still be checking in whenever this goes live. When, whenever this goes live. Go wild with it. Because you might find aspects of yourself in drawing, right? And and I know some of us some of us put up some of us put up a lot of barriers in this. Mental barriers. I'm not gonna draw myself. I'm not gonna draw my house. I'm not gonna draw this. I'm not gonna draw that. Uh because I suck at drawing. Because of this. We make up a lot of excuses. But legitimately, when was the last time that you had time to draw? Time to paint? Time to be a little kid again. And I don't just mean playing video games, because playing video games is pretty normalized as a coping mechanism. So when was the last time that you had time to pick up a toy and play with it just for just for a minute or two? And not because your niece or nephew were there, but because you wanted to. And and, and it is a lot about find like the, yeah finding passion through art and all of these things. Yeah, that's kind of tough assimilator. I'm sure, but like it doesn't even have to be necessarily drawing. There's clay. There's other things out there that can help out, you know, because a lot of people assume that art is just with your with your hands, but it can also be acting, doing something silly, pulling up a monologue and reading it dramatically, you know, something funny. <laughs> this hurt, like this hits though. Glass blowing. Ooh. No, earthly. That sounds pretty cool. <laughs> I do drums for that. Yo también. Hey, let's go. He's saying goodbye. I have fucking chills right now. But it, it, is she saying goodbye? It, is this one of those moments where you're like going through and doing a walkthrough and literally like cementing yourselves and feeling what you need to feel and whatnot out of this? Oh man, I, I literally have goosebumps. And that's why I was replaying that. There are people, there are a lot of people. There are a lot of people that do this in a way, right? Which is you revisit a place, especially when you're really, really sick. As a way to ground yourself in it and see it in another light and take what you can with it. And it's, I have chills, dude. I'm like, just the way that she glides her finger across the desk and you can hear it. You can just like. It's only the two of them in this dark, empty school that is once filled with life. And that's sort of like, it's like the symbolism in here where they're the last two and it's dark, it's nighttime. There's no more like life to be seen in this. Like it's not the livelihood that it is in the mornings when all the kids are there talking and chatting and, you know. Ryota and... Oh. oh, oh, my heart. Oh, oh, no, please. My mind needs to stop wavering into dark places. Like, my mind needs to stop wavering now. Oh, no, 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 no. 
昼間 <laughs> 学校を探検した女の子は病院を抜け出して待ってたのに。君は忘れるの。その人の心にずっと詰めるように。ああ、ファッキングです。忘れない。死んでも忘れない。<笑> oh, <fucking dude. laughs> Don't fucking do this to me, man. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, what the fuck? Oh. Oh, man, what the fuck? More is the clue, man. Oh, I can't even imagine that. Dude. I can't. <laughs> I can't, dude. Fuck the hell. この<笑><笑> What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> We're halfway through. What the fuck? No. no. <laughs> Flags are raised and I don't like... I don't, uh, what's your cry counter? Too much. Too many. Too many. This hurts, man. This hurts. Oh. I have a friend. And I had a friend in elementary school and I never forgot them. But when I saw them years later, they didn't even remember me half an hour of talking. It really saddened me. But I couldn't do anything about it. Yeah, because time keeps going on, Destro, and it's it's always interesting how some people prioritize certain feelings or shooting anything and it Yeah. Oh man, this <laughs> I pretty like these types of series. Makes me cry tears. I can't Yeah, I mean and sometimes these ser these shows, these series really help us feel that, you know? Oh sorry. いや、こんな感じで。<笑><笑><笑><笑> Well, I can't stand guys who've got glasses and that literally that literary vibe. L take L take, dude. You can't stand guys with with glasses. You can't as a, you can't stand guys with glasses in a literary vibe. Fucking L take, dude. We we end up about to appear. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh no. It's like you got glasses. I'm sorry, you got glasses. 
I'm, I'm sorry that you weren't born with naturally gifted ice. <laughs> <laughs> that's so old. that's so fuck dude skill issue <laughs> it's a fucking like a huge skill issue here apparently but yeah i can see the projection that's happening especially with her just reflecting off of kosei there dude wow そろそろ準備しとかないと外からゲスト呼ぶのもありなんでしょ I don't know about Angel. I don't know about Angel, but. Hayakushikotoste, しょうがないじゃん。手が小さいんだから。ひろこさんの言った通りだ。あの、ごめんね。その、人に教えるのは初めてで。I think he's got the right intent, right? How do you please someone? Usually, right, you break bread, you get you get them food. Quick lesson, guys. How do you how do you make amends with someone? You bring food. Dales comida, <laughs> Give them food and everything's good, you know? It's a quick option, the, the easiest option. <laughs> I'd snap it, keep it. Or both, yeah. Muy bien, Jesus, y tú? Hero. Wait up, wait up, wait up. She says, wait up, wait, hold on, wait, hold on, wait, 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 wait. She's the, oh, wait, emotional damage coming soon. She's the sister of the guy who's trying to, wait, wait. <laughs> She's the sister of the guy who's trying to, like, you know, who literally, like, tries to compete with, with Kosei all the time. That's emotional damage waiting to happen. You, you couldn't ask your, I guess, like, sibling or your hero to teach you how to play piano, but you chose his, like, his arch rival or nemesis or whatever. Like, that's, mm, mm, mm. もともとピアノもその人が始めたんです。だからその人を追いかけて私も好きなんだ。でもその人は私以外の人に夢中なんです。そのせいで今迷って悩んで真っ暗な心の迷路にいる。Brilliant strategy to make them jealous true. だから気づいてほしい。私がいるって。私のピアノで なんでこんなこと話してるんだろう。よりによって憎きピアニストに。不純な動機でしょ。きっかけなんてそんなもんさ。誰かに吹き飛ばして欲しかったのかもしれない。ピアノに対する負い目を。じゃんけんぽん。
嘘ですいるって顔に書いてあるどんな人なんですかあ、oh, no. そんなはずないよだってその人は僕の友達を好きな女の子なんだ Into a friend of mine. 諦める理由になるんですかグリコ愛より友情ですかチンプですうんそうだねでも僕にはこれが精一杯なんだうんちよこでどんな人なんですかその人はねジェットコースターみたいな人なんだ泣いたり笑ったり僕は振り回されてばかり、oh, no. その人がいるだけで、oh, no. モノトーンだった世界がカラフルになるような、oh, no. とても眩しくて、oh, no. とても強い人なんだ。ほらパヌレ忘れたんかそこは不良者を約束してたのに The fact that she's still putting on this mask, though. The fact that she's still putting on this mask and she's being so brave. Dude, this this saddens me. The more and more that the the more and more that, that, that we get into this, it's like in case you have had someone you care about pass away or whatnot. Sometimes all they want to leave you are with those positive memories that you never got to see them in their weak state or whatnot. And you might know that, they, that they're having a rough time, that they're going through a lot of stuff. And, you know, they're putting on this mask so that way that the memories that you have of them are just like the positive aspects, right? The more that, like, I, I'm taking this in and we're processing it, the more it's like, fuck, dude. The, like, this must be exhausting for her. This must be so exhausting to keep putting up this mask and her and her fears and your insecurities that you must be going through, like, you know, as as things are not seeming that great. There's a lot of insecurities and fears that start popping up, and yet your friend walks in and instantly you gotta put on that mask and, you know, try and not let it break because you're trying to make sure that they're okay and that they're gonna be okay. And Wow. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Hey, yo. 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 Hey, She's starting to sound like it, like his mom. The mask is slipping, boys. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! How much time is left for her? My heart is racing. Every scene in this episode, dude. The, the, she's breaking me, dude. <laughs> また言い訳、女の子と Oh no. <laughs> I can't. Yeah. Mi corazón, we. Oh, my God. 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 O
なんでピアノの音がスキップしてる音がスキップするわけないじゃんそう言われるとそうなんだけどさでもうん<笑>やっぱスキップしてる<笑><笑> oh, she... She gonna come find out that she has feelings. I'm not quite sure, not sure. I'm 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 not sure. The more that we actually find treats to like them, some unless something really traumatic or bad happens that like that like disables that. But for the most part, for normal population size rate, you might start working with someone, right? And at first be like, I don't know, whatever, right? I don't, I don't. But if you have to spend every day together or three times a week together, however long, you guys will start to learn to like each other. And over time, if if like you know people aren't solidified into roles they can grow into feelings of attachment and love you know or longing you know because some people use this to here's a here's a phrase that i hate and i hate to bring it up here i hate the phrase work husband and, and i hate the, the phrase work wife right because that means that you're assigning them the roles of something that you want right it's like a weird stockholm syndrome but this is how we attach right is this why i keep getting a crush on everyone or am i just a bad I mean, it might be, it might just be that you propinquity at play, or it could be both, you know, Lemon, it could be both. <laughs> it literally can be at that point. That does not reflect my experience at all. Having been stuck living with many people, I never grew to like any. Well, that, th that depends on some later. For example, are you on the spectrum? Are you not on the spectrum? I'm talking about like just, just in general, right? A lot of people will learn to like one another the more amount of time that you play, that you spend with them. And that that's a huge aspect with that. Uh, have you had a traumatic incident happen to you or not? Uh, did How many friends did you have around you? Were you healthy socially? Did you meet all of your developmental milestones? So on and so forth. It, it's a lot. It's a lot to take in. ただいま。見返りを求めぬ愛。あ、分かり。早かったな、ナギ。えいよ。我はファンティ。えいよ、ファンティングユエ。ただいま、お兄ちゃん。あ、ファンティングユエ。ただいま、お兄ちゃん。お見舞いはどう。ふ、ふ、
what can I say about about the show other than the fact that it's it's a journey, and it's a journey that you have to be open for, because I feel like this show if you're not if you're not prepared for it, it might be too triggering. I feel like for this show, this this might also be one of those shows where, uh, just like Sun Gatsu, if you're not ready for it, it might be too much, and it might break people down, and it might give them some of the greatest cries out there, but at the same time, it might make them just yeah. The ending finished the job of breaking hearts. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I'm scared. I'm reading the titles of episode 19. Goodbye, hero. I think that this show is also a good release of pain. Like, if you've been holding on to a lot of pain, you could probably use this show to, like, be able to release some of that pent-up, like, anger, frustration, pain, whatever you may have. But this is a, this is a journey of healing. This is a journey how we're human. Sometimes we lose people. Sometimes that humanity aspect of it, it's... I don't know how to put it. We never know when it's our time to go. So with that being said, make sure you celebrate life. Make sure you celebrate... Uh, yeah, make sure that you celebrate your opportunity of growth and being there for others and 101 things. This is this is a tough anime to get through. Tough anime to, to watch. Uh, 